This is like smoking two packs of cigarettes a day in terms of its mortality risk. You know, there were a lot of mortality factors that we would study that actually when, when an elderly person lost their sense of community, their lost a spouse, yeah, lost a family, huge. or became isolated, which is the fastest way to accelerate all-cause mortality yeah, is to well, put a human being. Loneliness is like smoking two packs of cigarettes a day in terms of its mortality risk. I don't know that that's true, but it, that, that I would totally agree with that off the cuff because we saw it in the data. You know, we... we uh, we call it broken heart syndrome, yeah. you know, essentially, you know, spouses that were, and it, and it wasn't so much the loss of the spouse, it was being thrust into immediate isolation, right? Because, you know, mom and dad live, you know, five states away and the kids are busy and they're raising kids and they see them on Christmas and Easter and New Year's, like most families, and then one spouse falls ill and passes and now the other spouse is totally isolated. Mm -hmm. And that isolation, we know that in all forms of animal species and human beings data, you know, we, we, uh, we call it broken heart syndrome, yeah. you know, essentially, you know, spouses that were, and it, and it wasn't so much the loss of the spouse, it was being thrust into immediate isolation right? because, you know, mom and dad live, you know, five states away and the kids are busy and they're raising kids and they see them on Christmas and Easter and New Year's, like most families, and then one spouse falls ill and passes and now the other spouse is totally isolated. Mm -hmm. And that isolation, we know that in all forms of animal species and human beings, isolation, you know, reduces your, your lifespan. So biohacking and, is having a friend. So so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so back to biohacking, I would say the best devices it, but are I think it that, is actually. <laughs> that mimic mother nature, right? Yeah. So so things like mineral salts, amino acids, nutrients that you would find in nutrient dense soils. You know, you wouldn't believe the physiologic impact you can have on people just by putting them on a complex B vitamins, vitamin B12, some methylfolate, which are, which are basic core nutrients required for the process of methylation. And when they're deficient, they become like the hub of the wheel. They, they, they have all of these spokes and people think that they have an autoimmune disease and they have a mental illness and they have a uh, weight gain issue and they have sleep disruption and they have anxiety or they have ADD or, right? Yeah. So, so things like mineral salts, amino acids, nutrients that you would find in nutrient dense soils, you know, you wouldn't believe the physiologic impact you can have on people just by putting them on a complex of B vitamins, vitamin B12, some methylfolate, which are, which are basic core nutrients required for the process of methylation. And when they're deficient, they become like the hub of the wheel. They, they, they have all of these spokes and people think that they have an autoimmune disease and they have a mental illness and they have a uh, weight gain issue and they have sleep disruption and they have anxiety or they have ADD or ADHD. And the truth is they very often have nutrient deficiency.